like a conspiracy. Yeah, I went inside of a van. It's just crazy stuff, but I think maybe that's why he wow. moved into it. So that was pretty awesome. Fun story, <laughs> too. So background actors, you know, pretty much they're not getting... Yogurt's a thing out here. Like, they sell it everywhere. It's huge. Yeah, that's so part of all of the questions I have, or even last time I was kind of just getting into it. Are yeah. people there quarantining? From what I'm gathering, I'm in Yamaguchi, so the prefecture I'm in, there's a lot less cases. So right now, we're not in a state of emergency. But we were about a week ago, so I think right now, we're not in a state of emergency, but we're still basically the, the Emperor Abe. He basically said the state of emergency has been lifted from other prefectures, including ours, so we can travel to a few other prefectures technically right now, but there are still people who are taking precautions because they don't want to bring it into our prefecture, obviously, and spread it. So there's a lot of people still trying to stay safe. And also it's like being recommended that we stay safe and stay inside that like more takeout, like there's more takeout like to go. They call it mulchikaiti is like to take home like food and stuff like that. The prefecture over from us is Hiroshima, which is like about an hour drive for me. And I still like go to Hiroshima and stuff. And the, the state of emergency has been lifted. But technically, I am allowed to go now. Before, it was just like suggested that we don't go because Japan has this thing where like they can't enforce the rules on their people. Whereas like in America, they are enforcing things because it just works a little differently. Like here, it's more suggested and everyone kind of collectively works together to stop it from spreading. Whereas like in America, That's it's more like Sweden enforced. Too, yeah. We had... I think our numbers are going down a bit in southern Japan, like in the countryside. In Tokyo, it's really bad. There's still hundreds of cases, but it's bigger cities like Tokyo, Osaka, and Kyoto that are pretty bad right now. Very interested to hear how it is in other places. So hopefully it opens people's eyes at the very least, be knowledgeable about what's going on. Even still, people are disagreeing. A lot of people want to continue as normal because they think it's all just like a conspiracy. It's, it's become this polarizing issue. So it, it's interesting. And not to go on and on about that, I just haven't been talking about it too much. There's not who you talk to, yeah. Mm -hmm. But there's yeah. some fun stories <laughs> too. I don't even know if you heard Tom Cruise wants to make a movie in space. He wants to be the first actor to make a movie. And this is happening. How? Yeah, like, oh, well, Elon Musk is involved. <laughs> In NASA, <laughs> and and is it Tom Cruise like he's a Scientologist, right? So is that why he wants to yeah make a movie in space? Well, maybe it's one of the reasons. Well, well, Tom Cruise has been making a lot of sci-fi movies, especially in like the two thousands. And I I like sci-fi movies, so you know, but sci-fi stuff has a lot to do with Scientology, because L. Ron Hubbard was a science fiction novelist. <laughs> Who that's part of religion? Of course, that that's um, true. <laughs> it's just crazy stuff. But I think maybe that's why he wow. moved into it. As far as just making a movie, there, I know all like all the studios are not making movies right now, and he's yeah. just an actor who's like, let's make a movie in space since we can't make like any right movies now. on Earth. Is like that as soon as who possible. Wants to do it now? Wow. Okay. Yeah, like as soon as possible. <laughs> During the COVID. Like, it'll be a scripted movie, and yeah, I'm waiting for that. <laughs> you know, the background actors, they're, they'll release an article that, that freaked everyone out. Because it's, it? it was like, oh, we're going to put CGI. Background actors, you know, pretty much they're oh, not going to need them in the future. Shit. And they're going to CGI people. And I and everyone started freaking out. People and I'm like, don't worry. Um, they started doing that. They actually took, I don't know a lot about it, but they actually took, like, a... A fucking 3D image of me. Yeah, I went inside of a van and they took like all these images of me um, in my costume. And I guess they just use you as, as like a, a background person, like a virtual background person. So I don't know if they use your face or how it works, but it's it was pretty trippy actually. So 
it kind of freaks me out because people were freaking out kind of how this article was written how things were going to change in the future did you ever meet with those modeling people last friday yeah actually that was pretty cool we had like a little meeting at a coffee shop and they were really nice and they kind of just went over the logistics of how their company worked they're just like a small little boutique in hiroshima and hiroshima it's a bigger city but it's a bit smaller than Osaka or Tokyo and that's usually where like all the bigger modeling agencies are so this one is more like just a small little agency and they do stock photos so they just take pictures of people maybe doing everyday things that they can sell to advertising agencies which is pretty cool I went in there last weekend and we did a little photo shoot and then they put me in a, a yukata which is like a summer kimono for like, festivals in Japan so that was pretty awesome I got to wear a cute little that's yukata cool. Yeah, and so they took pictures of me in that, and that's like good for promotional photos for like advertising agencies if they want to buy the photos from the company. Yeah, and they're also just really cool people, and it's nice to meet some creatives. Being here and working like an eight to four job right now, and it's still just the beginning, but it's making me realize like how much of a creative person I am, and like I really thrive in creative environments. So I, I want to fill my life with more of that. And that's why I love doing this and, and doing like our YouTube stuff.